Uh, cork flooring keeps coming up in my Pinterest feed. Is this a durable floor? Do you think I can sell my home in 10 years and the cork floors won't devalue my home? Not a really a big cork fan. Um, cork doesn't do well with water. It was sort of something that uh, a small slice of the industry jumped on several years ago because the, the environmental friendly thing was popular. Um, whether or not the cork floor would devalue your home, I can't promise you. But one of the things we have to look at is if we put in two hardwood floors, one of them's red and one of them's natural hickory, will one of them devalue your home? No, they're going to praise the same. But when you run 10 prospective customers through there, how many of them are going to like a red floor? It's the same way with cork. It may not devalue it, but you know, you run a customer through there and they say, ooh, I don't like those cork floors. In reality, that de did devalue it. So I would personally, I would stay away from cork. Cork does make a great underlayment though, and, it's, yeah. and it is featured on the back of all of our Cortec floors. All right, here's you another one. Okay. What is floor score? I see it on your LVP, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, floor score is, um, as you can see here, it's a third-party certification that tests floors for air quality. It really doesn't have anything to do with construction or performance. It's about air quality. Uh, Shaw is one of the very, very few companies that, uh, that pay the extra money, and it does cost, to get this certification from Floor Score. You can find more about it online. Frankly, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know that... Uh, you know, the off-gassing has been such an issue in the last few years that this, this does um, give customers some peace of mind knowing that they're not going to have that problem. Okay? All right. Is, uh, is your Blue Label flooring good? Is it cheap but quality for my high-traffic living room area and okay. hallway? One thing you have to understand, when our, the company that makes our Blue Label also makes our builder, and we sell the first quality, when they make it, it's all made at the same time. They don't have one line for Blue Label and one line for builder and one line for first quality. All three grades share the same core. They share the same flat sawn veneer. They share the same polyurethane with aluminum oxide. Everything's the same. The differences are... Um, when after the floor is made, most of them are visual, okay? Because their first quality is graded so high, that means there's gonna be a lot of stuff that doesn't make the grade. Some companies, their first quality isn't graded near as, as uh, harshly, so you don't have so many grades. But that's what this company does. I'm not allowed to tell what the manufacturer's name is, and it's tough for me because it's my favorite wood manufacturer in the United States. So anyway, after they make it, they grade it into three piles. And the piles, the grading for the piles is based on mainly aesthetics, okay? If it has a little bit of knot, too much knot in it, or maybe some wormholes, usually it's color variation, it's board length, um, you know, just contrast between boards. So when you look at our blue label, it will have more contrast and a shorter average board length and more natural defects than the builder. The builder... Man, their, their builder grade is almost perfect anyway. You just see real minor. Usually the defects in builder are defects that are only seen by a professional. So if you're, if you're following specifications, yes, it's not perfect, but it's close. So does that answer your question? That's pretty good. 